Today we'll guide you through powering up and configuring your new Tecmar Smart Boiler Control 294. This video is not intended to replace the available installation instructions or the experience of a trained product installer. Please refer to the installation instructions for further information and product warnings. It's recommended you mount the Smart Boiler Control 294 approximately 5 feet or 1.5 meters off the floor and that the placement of the control is near the boilers, pumps, and zone valves. Make sure you mount the control to a solid backing, such as plywood or studs. Use the conduit knockouts provided on the upper, lower, back, and sides of the enclosure. On the smart boiler control, low voltage wiring is at the top, and line voltage wiring is at the bottom. At the top, you'll see terminals for your pressure sensor, your outdoor air sensor, your boiler sensor, and your domestic hot water. You'll also find your heating calls, your domestic hot water call, and your set point call. When connecting to the internet, you can connect by either ethernet or by Wi-Fi. At the bottom, there are four modulating outputs, which support both zero to 10 volts DC or four to 20 milliamp signals, making it compatible with any modulating boiler on the market. Additionally, there are four on-off relays for each of the boilers. If you're connecting one to four boilers, the Smart Boiler Control 294 is all you'll need. If you're connecting five to eight, you'll need the Smart Boiler Expansion 294 EXP, in addition to the main controller. To operate nine to 12 boilers, you simply daisy chain two expansion controllers. And finally, to control up to 13 to 16 boilers, you'll need a third expansion controller. The main 294 controller is on the left. You'll connect the 294 EXP expansion on the right through the three wires at the top. If the distance between the controllers is under 100 feet, which it likely will be, you can use a standard 18 gauge low voltage thermostat wire. Now let's power the system on. When first powered on, the Tecmar logo will appear, followed by the lock screen. By default, the control is not locked and does not require a passcode. Press tap to unlock. From there, you can create a custom passcode through the security menu. This is an optional feature. If the custom passcode is lost, a master passcode is available. Here's a look at the home screen. Right away, you'll see your boiler target temperature, boiler supply, and plant output. Note, the plant output is the sum of all of your boilers up to 100%. For example, if you have four boilers and only one is on, it will read 25%. Below the boiler supply, you'll see a blue sine wave. Click on this icon to go to your boiler supply chart. To see your system inputs and outputs, simply swipe left on the screen. You can return to the home screen by swiping to the right until the home screen reappears. Error notifications will appear here on the top left of the screen. Click the bell icon to see what the error is. The status icons on the top will light up blue if they're currently working and gray if they are not. Click on the three bars on the top right to view the menu options, including settings. There you'll find the setup wizard. We recommend using the setup wizard because it greatly reduces the amount of time needed to set up the controller. When you select it, it first connects to the internet. Then you can configure your heating calls and select your boiler setup. Within the boiler setup, we have included presets for over 1600 different boiler models. We've done the homework so you don't have to. If your boiler is not listed, or you prefer to do your own settings, you can customize that by going into the boilers menu displayed here. Once the 294 is connected to the internet, you can connect the product to the Watts on-site app. Now you can monitor your system anytime, anywhere. For more information on the Smart Boiler Control 294, or the Smart Boiler Expansion Control 294 EXP, or the Watts on-site web and mobile apps, visit techmarkcontrols.com.